hey guys welcome back uh, uh, from this video onwards i want to start a new playlist that is related to pdcch uh, i will mainly speak about two parts one is related to background what is pdcch why is it required and what are the different kinds and things like that uh, and the second part i will talk about uh, one important interview question okay so pdcch means uh, physical downlink control channel uh, so let me let me talk about why is it required Let's say there is a base station and multiple UVs are connected to the base station. Uh, usually, you know, UV uh, doesn't have the information of the other UVs, right? But whereas base station uh, has the information of all the UVs that are connected to it. Um, what does it mean? It means that uh, base station can take a better decision on when uh, the UV can be triggered for transmission or reception, or even uh, uh, it can uh, allocate resources. Uh, uh, based on the information of uh, all the UVs, right? So basically, base station can work as a master, whereas the UV will work as a slave, and base station will uh, um, take the responsibility of uh, for forming the scheduling information to different UVs, and that is done in the L2 layer or MAC layer. So once uh, this scheduling of uh, different UVs are decided, uh, that scheduling information should be uh, uh, should be going to UV. So that is when this PDCCH uh, channel comes into picture that uh, the scheduling information or we can say uh, this is a control information um, should be informed to UV and that is informed via PDCCH. So now this um, data transfer between base station and UV happens uh, every slot by slot, right? So uh, we should understand what is one slot. Um, yeah. Uh, Thing is that one slot consists of uh, uh, 14 symbols and uh, uh, in the y axis a uh, number of PRVs and that number of PRV depends on the bandwidth uh, of the system okay so this is nothing but uh, even uh, what is called as VFDM rate and uh, for every slot uh, uh, this PDCCH, uh, uh, PDCCH information or PDCCH should be sent from base station to from base station to the UV okay so now uh, the base station uh, will send data right data or information um, that is one thing for, for for this one you know the base station would allocate certain resources uh, in this OFDM grid <laughs> maybe like um, 12 symbols and uh, uh, you know X number of uh, PRBs like that now now we need a control information which will tell yeah you know this data is uh, present on uh, these uh, resources right so definitely then um, in in this OFDM grid uh, there should be a place where the control information is present there should be a place where uh, you know the data uh, data is present so usually it is first uh, first symbol or second symbol or in the third symbol uh, the control information is present. Okay, PDCCH is present. Um, so, but uh, when this PDCCH is decoded from the PDCCH, uh, the UV gets to know okay, uh, where is its data uh, on how many number of symbols and on how many number of PRBs, uh, and even actually, in fact, there would be many other configurations like what is the modulation order and things like that. So, all of these things. Uh, uh, the UV gets to know and maybe you know for a particular UV uh, so so let's say for example X PRBs are allocated let's say uh, this is from fourth symbol to 14 symbol and uh, these many PRBs are allocated for let's say UV number one and it gets to know and it will go and decode this uh, this data okay so this data is is sent in what is called as PDSCH channel or physical downlink shared channel so now uh, having understood this um, now having understood this now you might get a question okay so that question is now we know okay uh, where are where is this pdsch data located for this particular uv okay that we are getting it anywhere from the pdcch but for the pdcch itself who will inform okay this pdcch is coming in whether first symbol or second symbol or how many PRBs are allocated for this PDCCH, right? So definitely, um, yeah, this is 
not possible. Uh, so that's why you know um, what is done is uh, PDCCH. Okay, <clears throat> PDCCH uh, is performed uh, with the blind decoding. Okay, what does it mean? So it means that when you have this entire OFDM grid, uh, okay, for all the number of uh, PRBs in in the y-axis. Okay, let's say uh, let's say uh, the PDCCH is present in only the first symbol, and for all the number of PRBs, uh, uh, the UV has to go and uh, uh, decode blindly. Okay, it, it should go and check uh, these PRBs and see okay whether uh, uh, any PDCCH information is there or not. Then go ahead and decode, and it it has to traverse all the PRBs and then see whether there is a, a PDCCH information or not. Okay. Now, now the important interview question comes into picture. Okay, so with respect to 4G and 5G, uh, if you are if you are working uh, PDCCH, okay, or if you are working downlink channel, uh, you know you will get question right. Okay, is there a difference between uh, 4G and 5G PDCCH channel? So if as what is the difference? More importantly, why is that difference introduced? The thing is that um, whatever I just explained, okay, uh, for the entire PRB, so, uh, the UV is supposed to go and decode. Uh, uh, UV should perform blind decoding, right? That that was present in case of 4G. But whereas in case of 5G, uh, the PDCCH channel allocations are slightly different, okay? Why? Because uh, in case of 4G, we had maximum 20 megahertz, okay? Uh, but whereas in 5G it can it, we have even 100 megahertz and we, it is even going up it is even going 400 megahertz and things like that wider bandwidth large number of prbs and if you are trying to perform the blind decoding for large number of uh, prbs then a lot of uh, resources are required more signal processing is required which means more power consumption so that's why in case of 5g what has been introduced is that a different kind of uh, uh, allocation is introduced for PDCCH. Uh, let's say a core set zero, core set one, like that. So, which means that um, the UV is already informed where uh, your information would be coming. Um, so, in in the sense that uh, if it is uh, the if if the message or control channel uh, is related to initial access, then it will come on core set zero. So, core set zero is uh, is limited to only certain number of PRBs, uh, so that uh, UV can just go ahead to co core set zero uh, locations and only decode in this particular area and see whether it has a PDCC information or not. It will, it will, uh, you know, skip all these PRBs. By that way, uh, it is reducing its processing a lot, and hence so it will be more power efficient. Okay, so that is why you know 5G, uh, uh, the PDCCH uh, allocations has been changed. Um, as I was telling, like a core set concept is introduced, and uh, and yeah, of course, uh, um, so some more changes are there. Um, I will come to that uh, details if possible in the upcoming videos. But for now, I will restrict to uh, only the basics. Now, having understood this, um, now we will enter into a different kind of uh, um, PDCCH uh, formats or different kind of. Uh, uh, PDCCH that are present. So here, yeah, here I was mentioning that okay, PDCCH is decoded in order to get the PDCCH data, right? So PDCCH is a downlink data. Okay. So basically, PDCCH is uh, downlink control information. This is also called DCI, downlink control information. But this downlink control information uh, is corresponding to the downlink data. PDSCH. That's why you know one of one of the um, category is downlink DCI. Got it. So similarly, what about uplink? If UV, this is in the reception mode, right? This is uh, for a UV. This is in the uh, reception mode. But but what about in the uplink? Uplink or transmission side? So in the transmission, in the uplink, we have a few SCH channel where actually data or information is transmitted from UV to the base station 
or even we have PUCCH physical uplink control channel uh, so this control channel is also transmitted from UV to base station um, which will contain you know all the measurements uh, are done by the UV like uh, channel quality indicator whether the downlink data is decoded correctly or not uh, or rank indicator even uh, beam forming reports and things like that okay so that this control information when it is reached to the when it is reached to the base station because base station is the master that's why we need to provide all these measurements to the base station so that the base station at the mac layer or even at the partially at the l1 layer uh, it will take the better decision for uh, performing the scheduling whether this particular uv should be scheduled with uh, two layers or one layer or um, what uh, prb should be allocated for this particular uv and things like that okay now for transmitting this PUSCH data and PUCCH data also the UV should know right that okay how many symbols it should use and on what PRBs it should transmit its data and things like that. So for that also uh, the base station will transmit the downlink control information but that is corresponding to uplink. So another category is ULDCI okay anyway the control PDCCH is a control information coming in the downlink but uh, this this could be indication to the uplink transmission that's where we say you will dci okay i hope uh, you you got it uh, so so in in ul dci uh, it will tell okay a psch um, it should be transmitted in what all uh, um, resources and what should be the modulation order and uh, what should be the number of layers and things like that okay so apart from that uh, when we have these two categories, in each of these categories, we have multiple formats. Okay, uh, that format is like one is for CISO, one is for MIMO, and another another one is for, for, for some power control and things like that. So that is also like uh, we have different uh, um, PDCCH formats or different DCI formats. Uh, that also I will try to see uh, whether I can bring it in the upcoming videos or not. Um, with, but uh, with all this information, right now I would like to wind up the video. Um, mainly in my videos what I would try to cover is some of the things which are not present in the internet uh, that is one thing which I would like to uh, you know which I would like to cover and uh, second thing is the information related to let's say even this PDCCH channel uh, would be scattered uh, from one particular link to another particular link uh, but uh, but after collecting the information you need to connect so by understanding that also i would be covering certain aspects uh, even though they are present in the internet but uh, i would be uh, you know conveying those information after connecting uh, those concepts so that uh, you know it will be helpful for you to understand in a better way with this i will wind up the video uh, in, the, in the upcoming videos i will talk about uh, more about pdcc channel because uh, in the pdcc channel there are many interview questions that are possible during the initial access time uh, and a uh, couple of uh, uh, you know we can see what what kind of uh, problems we can face with this uh, thank you very much have a great day bye bye